hello and I want to show you the AppBot Link smart robot uh, what this is is a robot on wheels which you can control through the internet uh, it works with the uh, Apple iPhone and Google phone so I'm just going to unbox this for you now what you get inside is your AppBot Link robot so what you can see it looks like a, a tank essentially what you do is you drive this thing around uh, this is a camera it has a lamp as well um, so it can see in the dark you can control this whilst you're on holiday and uh, you can drive around your house and just check that everything is okay so this is what it looks like it's got a, a head motorized head which goes up and down um, tank light tracks and uh, on off button switch reset button and these are docking pads for the docking station which I'll show you now so we just open the box and get the rest of the stuff out I have used this before um, and tested it so this is the docking station that literally sits on the floor and docks with the station providing a charge these are the three lights which um, it, which the um, the robot uses to line up with the dock this is the standard micro USB or mini USB I'm not quite sure, can't remember exactly what it, which one it is but that um, plugs into the socket to allow for a charge so this essentially where it sits in the dock these two points make contact with these two so it's like that okay the next thing you do is you go to the app store and uh, you want to download the app for the app bot so you simply type in app bot and there it is go to download And then you can open it. What it says here, would you like to send your notifications up to you? But I'll go yes, okay. Right, and um, to set it up, it, it's pretty straightforward. You just follow the instructions. So click next. Right, it tells you what you need to do here. So um, I'll just leave this here and just follow the instructions. Turn on the power. So you get to the bottom of the app bot. Turn it on. It's on now. And uh, press the reset button. Then check the blue light. So you see it's resetting. And uh, you should see. I am the... ready. Right. I don't know if you heard that, but it said I am ready. You can see a, uh, a blue light there. So click next. Right, press the home button, go to Wi-Fi network and go to the AppBot XXX password is link 2014. So what you're doing is you're pairing the AppBot with your phone via Wi-Fi to configure it. So let's do that now. So go to the home button, uh, go to your settings. I've got loads of icons here. Go to Wi-Fi. And look for our bot, here it is. Just turn this around again. We'll just wait for it to connect. And when it asks for the password, we'll put in link 2014. Oh, actually it doesn't need to, um, because I've configured it before, it's remember the password. So it's, it's done that. And then I think we go back to our bot. Right, it's searching for the wireless network. Go okay, next. Right, okay. Right now you need to connect to your Wi-Fi network. This is my Wi-Fi network. And um, I'm just gonna put my password. 
Okay, I've got okay that. And then just go okay. See, there's a progress bar here. The second one has lit. Let's wait for the other two. I am ready. Okay. Uh, please enter the robot's default password. Default is 1234. Let's do that. Okay, I'm just going to wait for it to connect. And whilst it's doing that, I'm going to just put this back on the dock. Like that. Okay, here we go. So, um, you see that. You can see this. You can, you see, up and down, up, down, see my hand there, you can rotate it, as you can see it's all in a dock, if you hit the uh, settings button here, uh, there is one to undock, so this is the one you press, this one here. That will send the app bot out of the dock, and then from here you you can you can see the screen what it's looking at. Uh, you can now control it. You can see. Let's have a look at myself. See, so yeah, there you are. That's me. Go back down again, and uh, from here you can you can control it. Of course, um, once you finish using it, you need to make sure it goes back into the dock. Otherwise, you, you, you're going to, um, you know, it's, it's going to discharge, run out of battery. So what you need to do is, um, if you look on the screen, you need to face. Let's make sure you, you need to drive it so that you can see the docking station. You can see here on the screen, you can see the docking station. Uh, for your app bots, once you can see that, you hit this button and you click the dock button. And what you'll see is it will, you can see the flashing lights here. That's how it, it aligns. And jumps on again, and that's it. Back in the dock, then from dock, you, it automatically charges. You can still control it if you need to. Okay, let's look at some of the other functions. Just gonna undock it. And I'm just going to navigate it. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's look at some of the other options. So you can, um, that takes a picture of what you're currently seeing. That makes a video. You can see the battery. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see the battery life of your app bot. So if it's going low, just make sure you put it back into his dock. Let's look at the, these options. Um, right, this one here allows the app bot to right itself if it falls over on its head. So if it lands, for example, like this, falls down the stairs, sorry, like this, you can hit this button here and that will um, right it. So flip it on its head. There you are, it's back on its feet which is a very useful function. That just removes the um, control controls on the screen. This one allows you to turn the light on. So if you're in the dark, so I'm just gonna, so you see the light there. And that's, uh, I'll just turn it off again. See, there's a light. Right, so quite handy. Right, some of these other options. That sound. So if you want to be able to hear through your phone what's going on at home, you can hit this button, which will take the sound 
the print turner sound on hit that again to turn it off that is just to this button is to calibrate your amp bot I never need I've never needed to use that right let's have a look at some of these don't know what that does that's oh, just that's to reset the password so password don't know what that does well, that looks at the version number medium resolution high resolution flick it back again to low and that's it so this is a really good surveillance camera it allows you to see your property or your premises on the move when you're on holiday you can connect to it anywhere uh, so long as you have internet and obviously uh, make sure this thing is always in its dock to keep it charged up hope you enjoy this video